the government of Guyana, the PPP government of Guyana, the Cooperative Republic of Guyana, are criminals, murderers, and most importantly, they are drug dealers. Barrett Jack Dio is the number one drug dealer in Guyana. And Barrett Jack Dio has persons within the Customs or Criminal Anti-Narcotic Agency in Guyana who work on his behalf. Guyana. Had and neither do they have to this day any of the information that I published in my article. Not Travis Chase. Not Shitabati, Shit Smith. Not Stink Mouth Critic. Not one sided guard mostly not what what is one name none of these persons have any of the information that i probably not glenn lal spy equipment they bought from a uk company having persons trained, criminal elements, known drugs dealers, trained and paid for by the government of Guyana to use this equipment to track and kill black people in Guyana. All these people die one way. Listen how they die. They are at a location and someone call them on the phone to come and meet them outside. Paper shards, Dreddy, Lubat, Bamafield, 90, 90. All these people die the same way. And it's being used to infiltrate your cell phones. It breaches the security of your cell phone or knowing to you. The spy equipment works in a very simple way. They can just send you a normal text. As long as the text reaches your phone, the spy equipment activates itself in your phone and then sends back information to the sender. Yeah. Oh, you still didn't get your ticket? This flight takes off every single day. Tap that subscription button. Thanks. The government of Guyana, the PPP government of Guyana, the Cooperative Republic of Guyana, are criminals, murderers, and most importantly, they are drug dealers. Barrett Jack Dio is the number one drug dealer in Guyana. And Barrett Jack Dio has persons within the Customs or Criminal Anti-Narcotic Agency in Guyana who work on his behalf, transporting and shipping his cocaine to Dubai. Yeah, I hear what I'm telling you? Barrett Jack Dio and many businessmen in Guyana that are aligned with Barrett Jack Dio ship cocaine to Dubai. Cocaine is shipped from neighboring countries like Suriname and Venezuela through Guyana through major European ports onto Dubai and I am going to provide you with evidence here today to validate what I am saying evidence to prove to you that the Guyana government the PPP government in Guyana is part of a big scheme of criminal elements, murderers, drug dealers within the Ghana police force, within GRA, the Ghana Revenue Authority, within high ministerial agencies in Guyana. And this has been going on for a very long time since Barra Jack Dio became president of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana. Let me remind you 
I will start by reminding you about the Pegasus spy equipment that was found in the possession of Shahid Roger Khan. I want you guys to remember that it was Leslie Ramsamy, former Minister of Health under the PPP government, who procured and signed the invoice to purchase this Pegasus, the Pegasus CSM 7800 series spy equipment from a company in the UK through its agency in Florida, in the USA. It was Leslie Ramsamy who also paid. It was Le Re Leslie Ramsamy who also paid over 70,000 or 90,000 US dollars. Let me find it and get it right. Let me get those $90,000 CSM training for the sum of $90,000 was paid to a man known as Peter Myers and Peter Myers company had fully complied with sub subpoenas and appeared in court and testified that he provided training in the use of the CS in the, in the use of the CSM 7800 series Pegasus spy equipment to Raja Khan yes Mr. Myers trained Raja Khan in the use of the spy equipment. Now recently, Paper Sharks was gone down on Main Street. Remember, recently, Paper Sharks was gone down on Main Street. And Paper Sharks murder was exposed by a police sergeant. And the police sergeant said that now today, the PPPC government still has that CSM 7800 series Pegasus spy equipment and they're spying on people in Guyana. They are spying on people in Guyana using special spyware equipment that they bought from a UK company from the out and was outsourced to Florida in the USA. This equipment is manufactured originally by Israel. It's called Pegasus. And the Pegasus spy equipment is being used to tap our phones, Guyanese phones, living in diaspora. And every single person in Guyana who, pre who present themselves as an opposition to the PPPC, this spy equipment is being used to infiltrate your cell phones. It breaches the security of your cell phone or knowing to you the spy equipment works in a very simple way they can just send you a normal text as long as the text reaches your phone the spy equipment activates itself in your phone and then sends back information to the sender yeah the sender can also pose as though they are you so you phone could be sending text messages and calls to people as if it is your number, the people will see your number turn up, but it's not you. The people will see your number calling them, but it's not you. Now let's get to that part of it. People, phones are tapped by the use of the Pegasus CSM 7800 series spy equipment that Barrett Jack Dio got Leslie Ramsamy to sign for and purchase. And then they provided 90 US $90,000 worth of training to Raja Khan. And this equipment was found in the possession of Raja Khan many years ago. And there were a list of names of people who they were tracking. Who Raja Khan was tracking. Now Raja Khan appeared in court. And Raja Khan said, yes, I received the equipment from the government. Yes, I was helping the government to catch criminals. But Raja Khan did not catch criminals. All these so-called criminals whose names and numbers appeared on that list, they were murdered. You hear the word he used? These so-called criminals were murdered by Raja Khan and his gang. The infamous black clothes. 
and the infamous criminal elements. The Pegasus spy equipment was purchased by the PPPC and today the Pegasus spy equipment is still in Guyana and used by the Guyana police force and criminal elements in the Guyana police force. Persons who are aware of the use of this equipment are none other than James Singh. In my last video, I called his name. Persons in Guyana or the criminal elements in the police force who are aware of the use of this, this equipment is none other than the crime chief Wendell Blanham. These are the people who have access to the equipment and have been using the equipment to track and to conduct covert operations and in many instances they are responsible for the death of many people in Guyana the assassination of people in Guyana it is the Guyana police force members who are responsible for tracking people and then persons turn up on the scene and kill the people who they were tracking last time I came here I said no one wants to say what I am saying I am saying it the Guyana police force are murderers members of the Guyana police force are murderers and they are using the Pegasus CSM 7800 spy equipment to tap Guyanese phone and then send people to murder them knowing where they are spy equipment they bought from a UK company having persons trained criminal elements known drugs dealers trained and paid for by the government of Guyana to use this equipment to track and kill black people in Guyana it's an atrocity it's a shame, it's an embarrassment. I want to say this today. I am going to read, I posted an art, I wrote, I wrote an article back in 2020. And I posted this article to Facebook. I sent this article to all the news agencies in Guyana back then and only one news agency printed that article or should I say published that article and that one news agency is called Village Voice Village Voice I thank you and I commend you for your efforts and I appreciate the fact that you took time to read the article and to publish this article because you realize in the article I wrote, I did some exceptional journalism research. This is what we call investigative research. At the time when this incident happened in Guyana, none of the known, reputable and established reporters or anchormen or reporting agencies in Guyana had and neither do they have to this day any of the information that I published in my article. Not Travis Chase, not Shitabati, Shit Smith, not Stink Mouth Critic, not One Sided Garden Mosley, not what, what is one name? None of these persons have any of the information that I published. Not Glenn Lal. Not Two Mouth Glenn Lal. Because Glenn Lal working with Jack Dio. Yeah, I hear what I'm saying? Glenn Lal is working with Jack Dio. Don't worry about all them talk. He and Jack Dio is playing good cop, bad cop. I show you I heard that statement before from another social media person named Brian Max. It is true. I'm conforming. Glenn Lal is working in cohorts with Jack Dio. Good cop, bad cop. Glenn Lal and Jack Dio together. This intricacy is deep. This plot is very thick. And the climax is one 
that I don't think the Guyanese people are ready for. You see, we see a lot of this type of thing in a lot of movies. Queen of the South, you know, the story on Escobar and all of these stuff. And we might think that something like this couldn't possibly be going on right in front of we eyes in Guyana. But if you think about it, some of the biggest boss in the world when it comes down to narcotics is coming out of Guyana. So it's only natural that some of these players is going to be a part of your everyday populace right in that same small country right there with less than a million people. Some of the biggest boss in the world is coming out from consistently over and over again. So when we hear this conversation that allegedly the VP is involved, allegedly there's more players that we might not even know in real powerful positions in the country right now that might be playing this same role and playing these same hands we gotta ask ourselves what is really going on in guyana it's a crazy crazy situation it's a scenario where if you really got your eyes open and your focus on you could lose your three pints in life i've gotten the best of both worlds you see, a hustler raised me, right? But he raised me and he tell me, sir, always make sure that you're well educated. And he used to force me to make sure I learn things and go to school and everything. So I went all the way to university. Yeah, I studied with Narton, Guru Sami, and no for them others, no for others that is in parliament and you know they're transcended by now so i get to see both sides of gt and if you are looking at what's going on right now not to take away from the topic but look at what's going on right now with the cartel case why they had to go to uk hmm? it's because of maritime law it's because you the citizen is still under the confines and the constraints of the queen, no matter what might be said about your so-called independence. So, for the real ones in the street that is going to live that type of life, you got to know the core and who you're dealing with when you're dealing with these so-called politicians. The real power is not them. The real power is beyond their hands. The real power is beyond anything that they can touch. They are a pawn in a big global game. And when you realize though, your eyes gonna be more clear and your movements are gonna be more precise. I know was something up when they put out this information and so quickly everybody was jumping and saying, oh, he's a drug dealer, he's a drug dealer, he's a drug dealer. I know was something up with that because let me contemplate on that. Why would the news put out that and put out the information so quick that he was a criminal? I'm talking about Dreddy in this case. Why would they say that so quick? I'm saying, but why are they saying that right away for open and close this situation? There might be more to this. Because if so many people are going out the same way, if you're hearing Waddle get a phone call, this one get a phone call, the one get a phone call, and so many sons of the soil gone down. So many mothers crying, so many families left without a brother, a father, an uncle, a cousin, whatever the relation might be. Why? And so many years, this thing going on. Hmm? And then they're saying there's a big decrease in crime, right? But really is there? Or is the reports not getting where they should get to? Just a few days. In between when Dreddy was taken out, a few days after that, another shooting in Tuckville. And those who know, know that Tuckville and what that situation happened with Dreddy is like 10 minutes away. What's going on? Same caliber weapon, 10 minutes away, less than 10 days apart. Both are allegedly part of the narco trade. What's going on? There's no way that all of these situations 
that was just mentioned is all coincidence. This type of thing is not good for no one that's there. Because you don't know who, you don't know when. You don't know if it's a foe or you don't know if it's a friend. Because it's being infiltrated. Pegasus spy equipment. This sounds like something straight out of a 007 movie. Let's have a conversation about this in the comment section. Because this is a crazy situation. Now as we move forward, you're going to get more detail about what's really going on. You're going to get more intricacies into the story that going on with Dreddy, Joe Singh, and all of them are going on for years and years and years. They're killing out people. Years now. And this situation that's going on right here could have been prevented. This situation that we're experiencing right now could have been prevented. We got to ask ourselves, where? is the opposition we got to ask ourselves where are the sound minded where are the ones not involved in this narco trade in the country because other places do something about it but it seems like in guyana there's nothing really being done to the big fish how dready there how lubat my next brother dead how Obama feel? How Obama feel in the friend there? And how so many other people whose names I could keep calling how they're dead? Let me tell you how they're dead. How paper shards dead? How paper shards dead? Paper shards dead the same way how Luba dead? How Obama feel dead? All these people die one way. Listen how they die. They're at a location and someone call them on the phone to come and meet them outside. Paper shots, Dreddy, Lubat, Bamafield, 90, 90. All these people die the same way. It clearly tells you that the orchestrator the criminal mastermind behind these killings is the Guyana police force and senior members of the Guyana police force and the death squad who are using the Pegasus spy equipment. Those are the people responsible for killing these people. Paper shards here call out to, out to the club. Somebody you know. When you go outside, you get gone down. Dreddy a call. Dreddy a call out awake. Giving direction to somebody on the phone we know. When you go outside, you get gone down. Bama feel and your friend. They're in your house. You get call on the phone to meet somebody out at Stone Avenue and 6th Street. When you go there, they get gone down. 90. They're upon the East Bank by the line top partying. And he get called. You know who called 90? You know who the two people when 90 went to meet when he dead? Former Commissioner Henry Green and Roger Khan. Yeah, hear what I just said? When 90 was called and went to UG and he get gone down and dead, the two people at the scene of the crime. Who murdered him was Raja Khan and former commissioner Henry Green. By the way, how Henry Green died? Some so-called accident or something with the vehicle? Yeah, sure. Yeah, check the vehicle. Now what my brother, my next brother, Kelvin Blue, Lubat, you know how he died? He was in his bed. There's, there's more words than all the rest. In his bed, lying down, sleeping with his family. And he get a call to come outside and jump in a car. They found him dead, body decomposing, execution style killing on su in the suicide area. I just said to you guys that the government is using Pegasus. 
Pegasus CSM 7800 series spy equipment and they're spying on every single guy in need, especially those that the one dead and magically you will get a call y'all hear me guy needs y'all listen to me you will get a call from somebody that you know asking you where you are you will get a call from somebody that you know telling you to come outside don't go outside don't tell them where you're there you're going to your death that is what the Pegasus spy equipment does they can read your text messages they can read your whatsapp they can listen to all your phone calls and see who you're calling and who calling you and then they can take over that platform and pretend as though that they are you they can take over the platform and pretend as though them is someone the person is normally talked to and call you Nine to get a call to turn up on the UG, the police commissioner and the known drug lord, Roger Khan was there, nine to dead. Lubat in the bed with the family, he get a call, go outside, jump in a car, execution style, he dead. Palmer Field in the house with the family, he get a call, he go and meet the people out by 6th Street, Camerville, he dead. Dreddy get a call asking directions so we there he go outside to meet the people he dead paper shards in the club he get a call to come outside he dead think people think open your eyes the same people who shipping this cocaine are responsible for this cocaine reaching to Belgium or should I say for the cocaine reaching to Europe and Dubai is the same people responsible for the death of all these names I just called and many 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 others and they're all linked to the Pegasus spy equipment who owns and controls and uses the spy equipment the Guyana police force y'all see who the criminals are and when drug shipments to be investigated they're not investigated by who? the Guyana police force who are the people that they're killing? people are listen to my word now people allegedly to be drug dealers and criminals this who the, they are killing alleged you see how i using the word this is me now saying alleged drug dealers and criminals when i come to use that word alleged i know everything else i say is a fact that i can prove i've just given you information to prove that the belgium prosecutors know who the drug dealers and the criminals are and the Guyana police force, Mr. Clifton Hickin, the crime chief when they blan them. The head of Kanu, James Singh, in calling Belgium police, in making a request to Mr. Ropes and Ben, the Minister of Security, to the country to receive that information so they know exactly who shipping the cocaine, who pack it, what what. In a video before when I came to give my condolences to Joseph Lennon Wilkinson aka Dreddy I simply said there's two directions in which a finger can be pointed to the death of Dreddy and both of these fingers that you're pointing it only points in one direction one person can fix it one person can fix it we don't need Wendell Blanham Blanham relax we don't need you James Singh we want James Singh fix it 
Because just like how we fix that, just like how people saw it fit to take the life of Dreddy, people see it fit, or sorry, see it not fit for him to be alive and well and have a full life. And they decide to take his life. I call on Mr. James Singh. Bring those people to the fold. Do what you do. Listen to me, Mr. James Singh. Do what you do. And get those persons. Now what you're supposed to do. Get your words right. I said, do what you do. Not what you're supposed to do. Get it right. I'm mourning and grieving for my brothers. I kill Kelvin. I kill Bamfield. And I kill Dreddy. All these killings, sharp paper shards, 90, all these killings are done one way. One process these things were done. Can these people y'all open my eyes and remember I said when you receive a call certain time, certain place, and somebody sound like who is somebody you know from a number where you know and the question is you who are you there? Who are you there with? Come outside. Or you get a text message, a WhatsApp or a SMS. I come in and meet you. Meet me outside. Going to your death. It's Pegasus talking to you, the spy equipment. Don't go outside. You're going and dead. If it's not directly equipment they're using. Criminal elements in the Guyana police force. Telling people the people were coming to kill you. Where are you there? Because you are a threat. You're a threat to the business. You're a threat to the politics. You're a threat to the underground economy. You're a threat. Let me say this in closing. I also would like to let the public know that I still also believe that the next move Dreddy was about to make or currently was making at the time. These people felt he was getting too big. While at the same time, there are criminal elements that he made a deal with to help another person. Dreddy Heart is so generous. Dreddy Heart is so generous. That two men got a problem. And one man decided to hurt the other man. This man won't hurt this man. And Dreddy come in the middle and say, No, no, no. Watch back off. You don't hurt this man. Wherever wrong this man do you, I gonna fix it for you. Dreddy stepped in the middle and was in the process of fixing the problem. Already fixed the problem up to 50%. So those persons there also. It's another side of the story. That's the other side of the story. All in all. What I want you guys to know is that James Singh know these people and know who they are and what they're doing and how they do it. James Singh. Like I said, Mr. Blanham, we ready for you yet. We ready for you yet. We know this is within your pay grade. And I literally mean your pay Grade. I think Blanum, this name Wendell Blanum. I think I teach you little brother or something used to go Houston. I think I teach a little 
I think I teach one of you family, you know, a little cousin or brother from Houston School, Mr. Blanham. I think so. Back in 2015 and 2016. I think so. I gotta ask. So, Mr. Blanham, I'm responsible for helping to mold one of the members of your family or relative. But like I said, we're dealing with James Singh. And persons under the poor view of James Singh. If those persons also fall under Mr. Blanham, poor view, well then we gotta address that too. But for sure I know Mr. Clifton Hicken. I don't know. I respect you so much, buddy. That's the big man like telling you about you. I respect you since when you was head of the TSU. We were senior superintendent or something, I can't remember. It's long, 2009, 2008, 2010. Mr. Higgins, I got great respect for you, but I am not satisfied. I am not pleased with the direction in which... So everybody in a uniform is get for do the same dirty work in the street and then there's get for hide behind the badge and hide behind the shave face and hide behind the employment and the steady check that they're getting, right? When the real hustlers in the street, the ones them that in abiding in the system like them or is now a wolf in sheep clothing like them but it's just a wolf that's out and about in the environment right the real persons that is mashing the works and them thing they don't get to exist in peace and enjoy none of the real fruits of them type of move that you know it's them same ones you hear the name already you know them you see them the looking out prestigious and art prim and the press and the sharp and the shine right but those are the ones that are at the center of the foolishness that's going on. Those are the ones that are at the center of all the extortion of your payment or a hey, you gotta pass something upon this or else this or else that, right? Those are the ones that are responsible for a lot of people losing their life. But guess what? You gotta watch them and say, yeah, corporal, or yeah, soup. Or yeah, this or yeah, the why? When they hands more dirty than anybody else. I mean, you hear the allegations, them that are right there. And we see the things in real life happening to people. 
over time, over time, over and over and over in Guyana is the same thing. Big fish never get in touch. Why? And we gotta ask ourselves how much longer are we gonna allow this type of foolishness for go on? Because I could tell you, it's only gonna get worse. They're going unscathed, people losing the life, people losing the freedom, and all kind of thing. They're moving around and moving unscathed and free, hiding behind a badge, hiding in a uniform. And the crime and the pillaging continues. What we can do about this guy, Nies? We can take this all the time like we's punks, or we can make sure that we equip ourselves in a way to prevent this monster from growing to the point where it's uncontrollable or is it already uncontrollable verb well crafted seamoss gummies nutritious delicious superfoods what's your favorite flavor